Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. So today I'll be doing a Shea video, also a mail call review video on this right here. So this is called Murphy and McNeil uh, Clade, Clados, if I'm saying it right. That's the name of the soap. So I ordered this and the aftershave bomb from the website, uh, Murphy and McNeil. So backstory, this arson has been around since last year. 2018, I, would th I want to say he started in November, and his name is Ashley William, or they call him, they go goes by Bill, but he's from Flower Mound, Texas, so he's been doing this for probably under, a little bit under a year, but, but he has created a big buzz, I mean, his soaps have been really, really talked about on a lot of the different shave forms, especially Badger and Blade, uh, Shave Nook, and also a lot of the Facebook groups have been really showcasing his, his uh, stuff here. But this is one I purchased. This is a soap from his Einstat line, which is a formulation of duck fat, tallow, and a bunch of other ingredients which are supposed to provide a really, really slick shave. So I picked this soap out, which is Clad Doe. And the reason why I picked this out because he's also a father of a um, child on the autistic spectrum. So 50% of, of this Einstein line goes toward uh, Autism Care Today, which is a charity which provides um, help for people that can't afford services. So talking to him, Bill, he was able to able to uh, provide, you know, provide all the money and support for his child with autism. But, you know, but, you know, but he has, he's got other friends that aren't able to provide that that kind of care or that access to care so he wanted to bring some awareness to to autism so that's why i purchased this soap because of the the uh, charitable donation of that group so anyway a lot of the soaps have this have little designs like this which is kind of like the irish uh, celtic theme designs on his website so I'll leave his website below, you can check it out. But this one in particular, this is uh, this is called the Clado Ring. Basically, this is from uh, a town of Gal Galway, Ireland. So this, this symbol has been around for hundreds of years and it represents uh, love, loyalty, and friendship. So the hands represent the friendship, heart represents the love, and the crown on top represents the loyalty. This is a soft soap. So it's very, very soft. So it's almost like a cream. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this shave started. I am anxious to try this out. So Murphy McNeil Clado. And I'm gonna be using my Parker variant razor and I have a setting of three. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's gonna be about about almost a little bit more than, than midway range for this razor. This goes up to a five, it's adjustable razor, so it goes up to a five for the most aggressive setting, and zero is the least aggressive, so about three. I'll be using three on this. And for my blade, I'll be using my sharp, my shark super stainless blade. Oops which is a great, great blade, in my opinion. Probably one of my top 10, but definitely, definitely a nice blade. Very sharp, very smooth and forgiving. And my brush of choice will be my Razor Rock BC Silver Tip uh, synthetic brush here. It's got about 24 millimeter knot. Very nice, a little bit of backbone. So let me go and wash my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've been back from my uh, First pass, I got my brush loaded with the uh, Clado soap, and I took a shower back there, so ready to shave. And this will be the uh, first use of this blade. I'm going to tell you guys, and got the brush loaded. So this soap is soft, so I had to load this. I heard this soap was kind of a little bit thirsty from reading reviews, but 
I loaded this up for about, let's say about 40 seconds with, with a, you know, with moderate, minimal water. So let's try it out and see how it face lathers. So it's so, almost like a, like a croak. A little cross between a, a cream and a soap. All right, so off the bat, nice lather. So hope you guys are doing well this week. Uh, today is Monday, August 26th, so can't believe this year is speeding along here. For most of you guys all over the states, north of me, I live in Florida, your summer is probably coming toward the end of summer, but for us, we don't really don't, we really, our summer pretty much lasts till almost October, so we really don't have a, a fall season to fall back on. All right, so nice and thick lather. So I just use the amount. I guess I. I guess I estimated the right correct amount of water to use for this soap, but I really just use what I normally use in my brush. Just you know, just this is a synthetic brush, so I just basically soaked it and shook it off a couple of times, and then lathered the soap up. And this is the incredible lather I got from this first face lather. Pretty thick. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that first pass. Alright, so got the number three on the variant razor here. Yeah, definitely, definitely pretty good lather for that first uh, face lather there. So this soap base has duck fat and tallow. So I'll try to leave the ingredients below in the description there so you guys can see the ingredients for the soap. But most, I, I believe his main formula is a, is a, is a beef tallow a base, but he's got different formulas in some of his releases, I believe. Well, one thing I want to point out when I ordered the soap, when I asked him about his uh, his charitable, his charities, about how he donates to charities, and also his, you know, I just I just happened to shoot him an email asking about the soap base, asking about the contribution to his charities. He actually donates to a number of charities with some of his soap releases. And he mentioned that he donates to um, first responders. I believe he's got a few, maybe one soap that's um, geared toward donating for to, the, to that specific charity. I'm not sure which first responder charity is, but he's got a soap that I saw online on his website that is specific to uh, donating to first responders. And he also donates to victims of violence and and wounded warriors also. And speaking to Bill, I'm not sure if he's just a sole artisan, but it seems it seems that way. But excellent communication, excellent service from what I've seen so far from, from my first purchase and pretty much I I emailed him and I got a response within like a few minutes so definitely definitely great customer service off the bat there And off the bat, great, great um, line on this first pass. Very slick soap. 
All right, guys, that's the first pass, no nicks. Uh, pretty good cushion so far, this soap, and very slick. So let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back my second pass, my second face out of here. And I got a ton of soaps to lift on that brush here, so. All right, so let's go ahead and do that second pass here in face lather. Yeah, so the, <laughs> so the lather just shooting off the brush here all over the place. As you can tell. Yeah, so definitely the soap base is really good, really slick. I think he calls he calls it the um, eye stat line, or um, also the A O N I'm 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 base. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but but he describes it as a tallow, duck fat, and other ingredients which produce. Ultra premium soap with remarkable slickness and elite post shave feel. So definitely the slickness is there. And I'm looking forward to, to seeing the post shave feel when I get when I get that last pass and rinse off my face, so Yeah, it's definitely if you go to if you go to Murphy and Menil's website um, I think most of his soaps are pretty much that have the Irish Celtic theme artwork on the outside of the soap, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm much, I mean, you know, I'm sure he's Irish, you know, his ancestry, ancestry, since he has that theme. So, but each soap. Each artwork tells a story, so it's pretty cool if you go to his website and check out all the different soaps he has. And he's got different different formulations, uh, soap-based formulations. But this one's really good. This um, eye stat is really, really slick. Because I'm guiding my razor, I'm just, I'm, I'm really not, I'm not really dragging it. It's just sl so slick that it's gliding across my face right here. That was the first thing I noticed when I took the first pass uh, with the grain earlier. Yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of buzz from the wet shaving community. Uh, from what I noticed, that's why I wanted to pick up his one of his soaps. And I believe this Clad Cladal was released. Uh, Valentine's Day, twenty nine, which is this year, twenty nineteen. And I failed to mention to you, the scent is amazing. Really, really nice scent. It's got the the uh, Silver Mountain Water scent by Creed. So it definitely smells really, really nice. And I wrote down the set notes, which are in front of me. The uh, top note is bergamot, mandarin. Uh, middle note is green tea, black currant. And the base is musk and sandalwood. So very, very nice uh, collection of uh, set notes there. But definitely has that nice Creed um, Silver, Silver Mountain water scent to it. And I would describe this scent strength probably about a medium, probably right about in the middle, five on the scale from zero to 10. So right dead center five, not too strong, but really, really pleasant. You can definitely smell it. Okay guys, that's my second pass uh, across the grain. Let me go ahead and rinse my face guys, and I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back for that third pass, the uh, against the grain here. And I got plenty of lather left on this brush, so no worries there. Yeah, it's just a nice, nice scent. I 
I have the Sterling Mountain Man, which is a take on the Silver Mountain Water by Creed, which is a little, very similar, but this one's a little bit softer, but this one smells really, not quite as strong as the Sterling version, but still very nice though. Yeah, so the Sterling version is just a little tad bit stronger in the scent department, but but both are very nice soaps. This formulation is amazing. And look at that lather still left on the brush. Plenty of lather still left on the brush. All right, let me go and do that. Last pass against the grain here, or as they say, the money pass. And what's cool about uh, Murphy and McNeil is they do uh, they do offer samples too, uh, sample sizes that are soaps. I think they offer uh, samples for all their soaps. So you, if you want to try one out or try a few, uh, you know, a bunch at a time, you can order as many samples as you want. But this this container is 5.5 .5 ounces, which is pretty. I think I paid about 19. $19.99 with free shipping. So he does offer free shipping on all his uh, products on his website, which is very nice. And some of his soaps are met, uh, methylated as, that I've seen. So he does have some methylated versions of his soap if you choose to go that route. All right, so the variant and the shark blade combo, very, very smooth. Very, very smooth combo tonight. And what's cool about his website, he does offer, I wanna say aftershaves, colognes, a uh, number of uh, buy, sell, and trade stuff on there, like used stuff or pre-owned stuff if you want to try things out. And also razors, I believe. I think he has razors on his website. Some hardware. But I'll definitely leave the link below, below so you guys can see his website. And I think he has an Etsy shop, I believe. All right, guys, that's the last pass, and very, very nice shave. No, no nicks at all. Just pretty, pretty slick shave. And that's the one thing about the soap; it's very slick. So let me go ahead and rinse, and I'll be back for the post shave. All right, guys, I'm back for the post shave. So I'm gonna be using the uh, Cladell uh, aftershave balm that I got with the soap. So very, very nice size balm. And this is a 3.5 ounce uh, bomb with the ingredients. Um, I'll leave the ingredients actually below so you can read all the ingredients on this. So let's go ahead and try this out here. All right, so the Scent is a little bit stronger than the soap. I would say about seven. Very, very nice scent. And very light balm, so it's not really heavy or thick. All right, just about right here. And I think I put, I, I, have, I think I used a little bit too much, but I think he mentioned that a little bit goes a long way, so definitely will heed that advice next time I use this, but 
Yeah, so you don't, I, I probably use maybe, I would say a pea size, and I got like a lot on my face, but definitely not heavy though. It's very light balm, so, All right. So definitely nice scent. The Super Mountain Water scent is in this Sather Shade Balm, and it smells very nice. So guys, for my recap, I use the Murphy McNeil Clado Soap. Great, great artisan, great customer service, and amazing, amazing formula. This soap base is awesome. Very slick, very cushiony. I got no, no cuts or nicks from this formula. So just a very, very nice formula. And it's very soft too, so it's like, I actually lathered it into a bowl. So it's very, very soft soap. And one thing I'm gonna tell you, talking to him on his website, his emails, um, he does, he does donate to that charity um, Autism Care Today from the sale of all of soaps, not just this line right here. This this line, the Einstein line, is 50% of the profits go to that, go to Autism Care Today. But really all his soaps, anything he makes goes toward uh, a, a different charity, or specifically this one, the most, the Autism Care Today charity. So anything you buy will go toward charity, which is great, which makes me want to buy from this artisan, since I have a, um, a child on the autistic spectrum, so that's that's a very dear cause to myself. But definitely, definitely great, great artisan, and I recommend definitely checking out Murphy McNeil. Great stuff. And the brush I used, actually the razor I used was my Parker variant on number three with the with the first use of the shark blade. Great, great combo. And I used my Razor Rock BC Silver Tip. And like I said, slick soap. It took me a while to get the soap out of this brush, but because it was so slick and pretty, pretty slick and pretty uh there was a lot of lather left on the brush tip. I mean, I could have probably done maybe three more passes with this soap. So that's my shave for today, guys. My review. Um, hit like, subscribe if you like this review. Uh, let me know if any comments about this soap or this artisan. Great, great, great customer service. Great product. And I will do some more reviews in the, in the future from stuff I come across. But definitely, definitely keep your eye out on my channel. And I will see you guys later. Have a good week. Take care.